hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel boy in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to sew a v-neck top so watch and be blessed so after cutting the neck like a normal neck you now take down five I'm making five because it's close to that crazy small you can take six so I'm taking five and then here one I'm gonna explain why it's like that so next thing you do is you join the lines together but before that you minus quarter of an inch here and add five inch please and then you rule the line then after that you cut it out this is how it's going to look like then you take your shoulder measurement plus half and the armhole your shoulder measurement divided by two and then you cut it out it's just a lot of work but in this you're going to understand so we are having a v-neck already and this so what you do next is you cut your back yoke as we print in it yeah these are the basics so that's why I'm not really explaining these parts I'm really uh, concentrating on showing you how to make a v-neck if you need to the channel do well to subscribe and like this video comment ask question in the comment box I will surely respond so this is let's say uh three inches yeah in total then you fold it into two so now half is for sewing allowance and then one is what we're working with so this is it you can make it as long as or at least let it pass what you slit out by um, two or three inches so you won't <laughs> get short of it so now you place it down front to front normally and then sew by half of an inch sew down it's really a simple stuff really really simple you mark out half of an inch so you don't pass where you marked so iron double stitch there do the same thing to the other side if you're new to the channel, do well to click the subscribe button, click on the like button, turn on the bell, ask questions in the comment section, and I will surely reply. Thank you. Alright, so we're gonna sew by half of an inch. Remember, you're going to keep half of an inch space for the slit so you double stitch and sew down to the end just like that very simple there's so many ways of making a v-neck this is this is one of the ways i'm going to make a video of another way so stay tuned and subscribe so after everything you know flip everything inside this is what you get. Tada! We're getting there already. Looking sweet. It's looking sweet already. And then you top stitch. Top stitch around it. It's it's as you wish. If you want to top stitch, you top stitch. If you don't want to, you can let it be that way. Still go. You can decide to press it. 
Alright, so the next thing you do is to open the back pattern of which you will bring the back yoke into play. And so by half of an inch as a good side and wrong side. So half of an inch down and then use your scissors to not round so that when you flip it to the other side it will be relaxed just like this so you can decide to press it which is very necessary to press so after pressing you bring your front pattern to play pressing it this way bringing the back yoke round and then you sew it by half of an inch do the same thing to the other side simple as that This is it. We are done with the bean neck. The rest of the things will be completed, but this was the main aim. So this is the V neck done and dusted. So the next thing you do to get a clean job is to iron it. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and I hope you learned from it. Do well to click on the subscribe button like the video and ask question in the comment box and i will surely reply thank you god bless you